What's up guys? So in this video, I'm going to be talking about why I'm not going to be upgrading my Chase Sapphire preferred card. For more videos like this one, hit that subscribe button. But for now, let's go ahead and get into it. What's up guys? It's Jay. Welcome to Flashpoint. We're all about credit, credit cards, and other finance tips. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. Also, be sure to smash that like button for that YouTube algorithm. It really does help me out a lot. And participate down in the comment section. Let me know your thoughts on this, okay? So, obviously, you know, you guys have probably seen some videos, you know, talking about the Chase Sapphire Reserve card, the changes, and everything like that. Um... But most of those videos are probably from people who already have the card and are debating whether or not they should keep it, cancel it, downgrade it, whatever to have you. Um, so I'm just going to speak from my side. I feel like I'm on the other end of the spectrum where I have the Chase Sapphire preferred card and I never use it. So I was actually considering upgrading the card in early January and the Chase representative that I was speaking to told me that I would actually have to wait until you know January 12th, 13th, something like that around that range because uh, the annual fee was increasing. And when I asked why, they obviously said, you know, hey, we're adding new benefits, Lift Pink, um, DoorDash, Dash Pass, you know, membership, what have you. I said, okay. And when that happened, it immediately made me think of the Platinum card, right? It has the $200 Uber credits, it has the $200 airline credit, it has the $100 global entry TSA pre check credit. And, uh, Basically, it also made me think about the Amex Gold card. So I felt like Chase was trying to somehow make their card a, a little bit more competitive to both of those cards. So they were going directly after the Amex Platinum and the Amex Gold card, okay? The only issue with that was that none of those benefits would actually apply to me personally because my lifestyle does not require me to have to use Lyft or even DoorDash. I I like to cook my food, so I'm always grocery shopping. Last year though, I did spend about $8,000 on dining alone, but those were all tax write-offs. So yeah. <laughs> so yeah, whenever I thought of this guys, I felt like it was actually just gonna be an inconvenience for me to actually have the Chase Sapphire Reserve at a higher annual fee just to have benefits that I wouldn't necessarily utilize myself. So I, like I said, the DoorDash, credit for $60 and then the membership, the Dash Pass membership, the Dash, try saying that fast, Dash Pass, <laughs> the Dash Pass membership, and then also Lift Pink or, you know, anything like that. Like I have my own car. I just have no need or no use for uh, Uber or even Lyft like that in, in that sense. I only use those services whenever it's necessary. So in the event that uh, I do fly somewhere, then I'll take it to the airport. But I don't fly that often. I might fly maybe three or four times a year. So it's not going to actually be enough for me to get those credits and feel like I'm actually getting you know positive expected value from this card. So in my opinion, those benefits are just an inconvenience. My thoughts on everything guys honestly i feel like if you're someone who actually would use that and you know get you know positive expected value from those added benefits like lift pink uh dash pass uh you know the 60 dollar dash uh door dash credit then yeah sure i would say go after the card but if you're someone who is like me doesn't use it very often i would probably only apply for that card just to get the sign up bonus and then i would probably downgrade it just because there's other cards out there that i could still get a lot of value for for a much less annual fee right and i do understand like you know the reserve and the platinum card they do have some some type of uh mystique about them where everybody just wants them but Honestly, I could honest, I could care less if I have the card in my wallet. I do understand that they do have really good uh, travel protections, insurances, and things like that. But there are other cards that have the same benefits, like I said, for a much less annual fee. So in my opinion, guys, uh, I personally would not go after the uh, Chase Sapphire Reserve. And if you were debating whether or not you want to upgrade your card to a Chase Sapphire Reserve, I would wait and see what Chase decides they do with this, uh, you know, with this partnership with DoorDash and also with Lyft, um, because you know they could just be testing the waters for a little bit just to see how everything goes. If the consumers are going to actually use them, uh, you know. Basically, if it makes the card more marketable or more desirable, I doubt it. In my opinion, I don't think it's going to make it that much more desirable um, just because, I mean, 
they were they came late to the party in my opinion amex platinum already has things like that on lock like they have uh you know the uber credits and then if you go down to the amex gold card they obviously have the dining credit the ten dollar dining credit um so it's like you know you could use uber eats in that sense you know and you could also use uber eats in the sense for that 200 hundred dollar uber credit with the platinum card so i mean they're a little late to the party so uh i feel like it's not necessarily going to make the card more desirable in my opinion i think it actually it's still a great card don't get me wrong but i think that it's actually worse now with the lift pink and with the doordash uh benefits added to it uh obviously you're still going to get that 100 uh tsa pre-check global entry but i still don't see many people getting positive expected value out of this card so hopefully uh if you're watching this this did help you make a decision whether or not you're actually going to use those benefits on a regular basis uh, i know i wouldn't so that's why i'm not going to upgrade it i actually may keep my chase sapphire preferred even though i do not use it um just because they do have really good travel protections uh you know it they're not as great as the, as the sapphire reserve but they're still pretty solid in my opinion so i would still uh you know probably just keep my chase sapphire preferred or i may downgrade it haven't decided yet but that's just my two cents guys i know i wasn't i didn't go too analytical on you guys or, or you know try to throw numbers at you but i just kind of went at it from a logical standpoint just the fact that most people they would get excited off of these benefits and immediately immediately want to rush into trying to get that card but I always feel like you have to take a step back kind of sit and think about it and just really evaluate yourself and see do I actually use it or would I be going out of my way like I had the Amex gold card and I found it that I was actually going out of my way just to get those credits the airline credits uh, the dining credit and I actually decided to cancel it and so I ended up just applying for the green card got the green card and I'm cool with the green card it's a hundred dollars less an annual fee and it I'm completely cool with that because I still earn 3x on travel 3x on dining and I, it comes with other benefits so I, I feel like you know it's a pretty solid card for me and for what you know my lifestyle is okay so let me know down in the comment section what you guys think about this uh chase sapphire reserve upgrade uh do you feel like it actually helped them make the car more more desirable more marketable out to the general public or do you feel like it was like a last ditch effort by chase just to try to get uh more competitive with the amex platinum card let me know down in the comments below guys i really appreciate it and that'll conclude today's video guys for more video updates hit that subscribe button if you found this information to be helpful give the video a thumbs up i really appreciate it share it with the friends drop a comment down below to let me know what you guys think about this chase sapphire reserve would you actually get it let me know also guys do not forget to hit the bell notifications so that way you guys can stay up to date for whenever i drop my next video be a good person be safe be smart and remember credit is your life and i will see you guys in the next one peace